All right, everyone, uh, Vinyl Moon, uh, Volume 67, I'm back, Static Swagger, let's get into it. All right, we're back with uh, Volume 67, and I'm jumping right into it. I want to know what this one's all about. All of the song titles and artists, Static Swagger, let me bring it up to you guys. Bam! 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 Yeah, you guys already know. Volume 67, Static Swagger, let's read what it's all about. Are we evolving or are we stuck? Are we old dogs learning a new trick or a puppy chasing our tail and still putting questionable things in our mouth? Ooh. On this day, in this month, in this year, oh, so wild years have no idea. I'm certainly trying to learn new tricks, but when it feels, when life feels like Groundhog Day, who knows what sticks? Waves of stress crash against walls of routine, and suddenly I'm drenched in sweat. Rinse, repeat. Maybe better to follow a beat. Mm, I like that. Dance break until a table corner makes a shin ache air guitar until i feel the good kind of bizarre recover on the floor until my head is ready for more sing along with the steady company of another song if stiff old david can still move then so can we following this dress code is optional but can't hurt more than the coffee table corner did all right so i have no idea as in always most vinyl moons i have no idea but Hearing back from the community, you guys really hyped up this volume. Um, so I'm definitely excited to see what this one's all about. But it looks like they included a little poster. Looks pretty cool. Right on. Getting some like, I, don't, I just really don't know what to think. Oh, oh, well, looks like we had a sticker too. Bam. All right. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool sticker there. Whoa, wow, that, oh, check this out. As you move it, the guy moves the, oh, man. Oh, that's awesome. Yo, know, Vinyl Moon artwork, man. You guys already know I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Oh, man. All right, and then let's open up the gatefold here. Get that craziness going on. Let's see what it includes, if there's anything. Yep. Let's check out that record. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, I love like the orange and like the different hues of orange there. Oh man, it's like orangish, reddish. Love that. Looking good. Looking good. Man. That is swagger. You guys already know. I'm putting this one on the turntable, and then I will be right back. I am back and listen to the whole mixtape. It's time to go over these songs. The first song, the name of the artist is called Saint Blaze. The name of the song is called Vincent. Um, and it was a creepy entrance, honestly. It was indie rock. I could hear the vocals. That's good. The guitars really had me feeling, really feeling it. I, I was actually liking the song. They were very bright and prevalent. Um, fuzzy uh, and at parts it sounded like the guitars were clipping. It was like that bright, but maybe um, that was the intent of the song. But overall, it was it was a pretty cool song. Definitely something different to kick off uh, this mixtape. And then moving into the second one, the name of the artist is Dalton Jackson. The name of the song is called Lower. Um, it was definitely modern. I really liked the way that this song was mixed. It was very professional. Sounded really good and crystal clear vocals. Gotta love it. Anyways, it had a catchy chorus. I really liked the track. Uh, to me, it was a pop song. 
Uh, and I can hear that song definitely being on the radio for sure. Moving into the third song, I'm totally, absolutely uh, going to butcher this name. I'm actually going to post the name of this song right up above me so you guys can read that out. But uh, it was definitely a beachy, laid back as soon as the song got started. Um, I had like this Caribbean vibe, no lyrics, uh, but I can imagine a beach in front of me just by listening to it. Very, very like Caribbean vibe to it for me. Moving into the fourth song, the name of the, the artist is Woody Tarbox, and the name of the song is called Goodbye Jackie. Um, it was a rock indie funk combination. I could hear like the lyrics, so that was a plus. I always love when I can hear lyrics. I just don't know if I was like really feeling this particular style. It's definitely different than uh, something you typically hear, and towards the end, it changed a bit. And I liked it, but the intro makes me second guess like what, like how the flow of the song is going to be. So that was something different about that one. Um, but yeah, it was overall, it was definitely different. I liked it. It was, it was a cool song. And the fifth song, the name of the artist is Tribe Friday. The name of the song is called Talk So Loud. It was rock right off the bat, but the production was good. It had more of a dancey vibe as well to it. Good lyrics. Even though they weren't as clear as the other songs, I could still hear the lyrics. So it was a plus there. Um, move, moving in to... Uh, Side B, the first song is Side B. The name of the artist is Brother Sports. The name of the song is I Still Remember. Um, I was not feeling the vocal delay in the vocals. It was hard to understand, but the instrumental was poppy and it had like a little bit of a rock vibe to it. But man, the vocals, so it wasn't, nah, not feeling that one. I, we were doing good, but not, not this one. Um, the second one, uh, the name of the artist is Nick Preen, and the name of the song is called Do You Really Care? Okay, so this song, it was an immediate departure from all the other songs. Uh, it was way more intimate. The vocals were great and easy to understand. It was acoustic, like, in the verses, but it had, like, this dream pop in the chorus, and I love the chorus. I like what he did with harmonizing his vocals. Instrumental is so spacey, too. Like, oh, my gosh. I loved it. I loved it. Um, to me, best song. Moving into the third track, though, on side B, the name of the artist, Man With Roses, the name of the song, Golden Hour. Um, instrumental only has a strong chill hop sound to it. And it was very synthy, though. Very synthy. Fourth song in side B, the name of the artist, Skinny Dippers, the name of the song is called Panties. Um, this one had a very pop sound to it with the acoustic guitar. The vocals weren't uh, bad either when it came to the mix, even though I wish in particular that they were a little bit louder. Um, it was just a cookie cutter, like just really too cookie cutter for me. I followed along, but the song was just in general very predictable. Um, and then the final song, uh, the name of the artist, Midnight Divine, the name of the song is called Dark Dreams. Um, and it had a darker vibe to it uh, when the intro came on with that bass line. Um, sadly, it's a love song about missing, you know, or not having someone. I don't know if I would consider this punk, but definitely indie sound and, and less mainstream to it. Um, like I said, I, I thought, you know, it was going to be like this kind of more deeper song, um, a little bit darker, especially like I said, when it first came on, but it just wasn't. It just turned into like a love song, um, which it was okay, um, but... Yeah, I, I'm going to have to say, guys, if I have to choose a song out of this entire mixtape, I'm going to have to choose uh, Do You Really Care by Nick Preen, man. That song, I don't know what about that song does it, but, man, as soon as that chorus kicked in, I fell in love with that song. Like, immediately, I was like, yep, this is it. This one is it. This one is it. And I just I just knew it. So, overall, man, this Mixtape, it was definitely a cool mixtape. There was definitely some good songs. There's no doubt about that. You guys definitely hyped it up, and I'm not disappointed. Um, like I said, there were a couple songs definitely that I was not feeling, so it wasn't overall like 10 out of 10 for me, but definitely a very, very solid mixtape. Um, yeah, Static Swagger. I love the artwork. The artwork was fire. Uh, the actual record itself, fire. Um, man, it was really good. So I definitely enjoyed it. All right, guys. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.